The phrase, I always arrive late at the office, but I make up for it by leaving early, captures a humorous yet relatable take on the rigid structure and expectations of modern office life. While on the surface it may seem like a simple joke about slacking off or shirking responsibility, this witty remark actually opens up a deeper reflection on our relationship with time, work culture, and the balance between professional obligations and personal fulfillment. To fully appreciate the layers of humor and irony embedded in this statement, we must delve into the evolving nature of the workplace, the psychological and social pressures surrounding punctuality and productivity, and the underlying human desire to escape the often monotonous and demanding routines of office life. At its core, this statement pokes fun at the traditional 9-to-5 workday, a structure that has long been associated with industrialization and the rise of corporate culture. For decades, employees were expected to adhere strictly to a schedule, arriving at the office promptly in the morning, working diligently throughout the day, and leaving at the designated time. This routine, while practical for maintaining order and consistency in the workplace, often led to feelings of confinement and a lack of autonomy for employees. The rigidity of the workday, particularly when combined with long hours, can make the office feel more like a cage than a place of productivity and creativity. The humor in the statement, I always arrive late at the office, but I make up for it by leaving early, lies in its exaggeration of this tension between time and work. It flips the typical expectation of punctuality on its head, suggesting that the individual has somehow managed to game the system by reducing their time in the office altogether. This exaggeration serves as a form of wish fulfillment, playing into a fantasy many office workers might have had at some point, escaping the grind, bypassing the mundane meetings, and reclaiming precious time for themselves. The idea of leaving early after arriving late is inherently absurd, yet it resonates because it reflects the universal desire to break free from the constraints of the workday. However, this statement also sheds light on the deeper issue of how time is valued in the workplace. In many traditional work environments, productivity is often measured by time spent in the office rather than the quality or output of the work. This emphasis on face time creates an environment where employees feel pressured to be physically present, even if their presence is not necessarily aligned with productivity or creativity. As a result, many workers end up working to the clock, staying late or arriving early to give the appearance of diligence, regardless of how effective or efficient they're during those hours. The joke in the statement is a subtle critique of this mentality, suggesting that the number of hours spent at the office does not inherently correlate with meaningful contributions or accomplishments. In the broader context of work culture, the phrase invites us to question the arbitrary nature of the workday. With the rise of flexible work arrangements, remote work, and an increasing focus on work-life balance, many people are beginning to challenge the traditional notions of productivity. The COVID-19 pandemic, in particular, forced many organizations to rethink how they measure employee performance, as working from home became the norm for millions of workers worldwide. In this new paradigm, the focus has shifted from rigid schedules to outcomes and deliverables, allowing employees to have more control over their time and how they manage their work. The humor in arriving late and leaving early thus takes on a new dimension in this context, as it highlights the increasing irrelevance of the 9 to 5 structure in a world where flexibility and results are prioritized. The joke also speaks to the psychological aspects of procrastination and time management. Many people struggle with punctuality and managing their time effectively, often arriving late to commitments or feeling overwhelmed by the demands of the workday. In some cases, this can stem from a deeper resistance to the structure of the work environment or a lack of engagement with the tasks at hand. By acknowledging this common human experience in a humorous way, the statement allows us to laugh at ourselves and the occasional absurdity of our own habits. It provides a moment of levity in what might otherwise feel like a constant race against the clock, offering a small release from the guilt or frustration that can come with not always meeting expectations. Furthermore, the statement touches on the broader concept of balance in life. In a world that often prioritizes work over personal well-being, the idea of arriving late and leaving early is a playful expression of rebellion against the pressure to constantly be on and available. It suggests a desire to reclaim time for oneself, whether for relaxation, personal pursuits, or simply stepping away from the relentless pace of the office. In this sense, the humor in the statement is not about advocating laziness or irresponsibility, but about finding balance and recognizing that life is about more than just work. 
This idea of balance is particularly relevant in today's society, where burnout and mental health challenges are increasingly common. Many people feel overworked, overstressed, and overwhelmed by the demands of modern life, with little time left for rest, self-care, or meaningful connections outside of work. The joke, in its exaggeration, taps into this underlying desire for more time, time to enjoy life, pursue passions, or simply take a breath. It invites us to consider the importance of setting boundaries, managing our time wisely, and not letting the pressures of work consume us entirely. At a deeper level, the humor in the statement can also be seen as a reflection on the nature of modern work itself. In an era of constant connectivity, where emails, meetings, and tasks can follow us home via our smartphones and laptops, the lines between work and personal time have become increasingly blurred. The notion of leaving early, after arriving late, can be interpreted as a symbolic attempt to draw a clearer line between the two, reclaiming time from a work culture that often demands too much. It challenges the assumption that time spent at the office is the ultimate measure of commitment and success, suggesting that perhaps there is more to life, and to being a productive and fulfilled individual, than adhering to the traditional workday. In conclusion, the phrase, I always arrive late at the office, but I make up for it by leaving early, is a humorous reflection on the realities of modern work culture, time management, and the quest for balance in life. It taps into the frustrations many people feel with the constraints of the workday while offering a lighthearted escape from the pressures of productivity and punctuality. At its core, the statement is a reminder to not take ourselves, or our work, too seriously, and to find joy, humor, and perspective in the everyday routines that define our lives. Through its playful irony, the statement encourages us to reflect on how we use our time, how we measure success, and the importance of finding harmony between work and personal well-being.